before the Delta variant began ramping up speed, many families reunited following a year-long separation due to the pandemic. And one of those reunions had to be put on hold due to distance and life circumstances. But as Angela Kennedy shows us in tonight's Eye on Kettleland, the joyous moments of a Sioux Falls family finally getting together in person are also bittersweet. This month, music teacher Lauren Wright packed up her two sons, eight-year-old Jonas and six-year-old Merritt, and made the trip from their home in Montana to her parents' home in Sioux Falls. And I see 300 kids a week, and I just didn't feel like it was safe to be around my parents. Now, the moment she's played out in her head so many times over the last year is about to become a reality. I was thinking about coming out here, um, it would really sunk in. Oh, it's been a year. So, and these guys have, my sons have grown heads and shoulders, you know, in a year. Hey! I'm here! <laughs> you crying? No, I'm not crying, you're crying. Jim and Nancy Wright's emotions range from shock and disbelief to relief. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Got you. Yeah. <laughs> we used to love her. <laughs> no, it's I, I'm I'm just so happy she's here, here safely, and the boys are here, and we can hug them. Well, you can't hug them on Facetime, and they're getting so big too. You know, that, that's mm -hmm. you only see this much on a video screen. I couldn't have gone, couldn't have gotten through the last, especially the last few years without my parents, and. Um, They've been a huge support for me and for my kids, and um, I wouldn't be here without them. They're, they're the best. She's a single parent now, and she's so far away without help. And, you know, as a mom, I worry. It was easier. It's understandable that Nancy would worry, especially when you know what she and Jim have already been through. While all children are precious to their parents, Lauren is even more so to Nancy and Jim. I don't know how many times they ask, how, are, are they twins? I don't know. There are, there are actually three of them. You see, Lauren was actually one of three of the Wright's children, triplets. You know, we did the ultrasound and we saw two heads and said, oh, there's twins. And I was really excited and happy. And, and they said, here's the third one. And that's when I sat down. Nancy I first Jim interviewed the Wrights in 2006, in way, three months after two of their triplets, Dane and Johanna, had been killed when a van full of young people went off the road and rolled into a ravine by Lake Alvin. I think that is the hardest. The lost potential. That and the fact that Lauren's now got us all to ourselves. You're going to sit on Jonas? <laughs> now, nearly 16 years later, Lauren has added two boys to the mix. But I tell you what, when I see her boys, I see them too, especially little Merritt now with his, his twinkle in his eye and his freckles all over his nose. And oh my gosh, he looks so much like Dane did at that age. Dane and Johanna are only a thought away. We have their pictures all over in the house, so you, you, every day you, you get a refresher of what they look like. They're very much a part of the family, even though they're not around. Um, so, it, you know, we haven't seen them in 16 years, but 15, 16 years, but their memory, it's just like a family member who lives a far away, I guess. We still talk about them and keep their memory alive that way. What do you love the most about Lauren? I think her resilience. I mean, I've not lost a sibling. Jim's not lost a sibling. We don't know that loss. We don't know what she's, what those, and not just one sibling, but both of them. Nancy says it's just oh, no. like Lauren to spring a reunion on them, complete with a TV news crew tagging along. And I know for sure she loves her parents. <laughs> she's in so much. Likes to surprise us, too. Good thing we have strong hearts. Strong hearts shaped by unimaginable pain and loss that can still find joy in one another. You didn't have the Kleenex ready? With Eye on Kettleland, I'm Angela Kennecke.
So good to see that. And while Lauren and her boys visited her parents for a week, now that they're vaccinated, Jim and Nancy plan to make a trip out to Montana before the snow flies.